What is this big task that Jen J is talking about? It looks good. This is why I'm overwhelmed. How do I know what to wear? You know what? Jesus has been working on me. I'm being a little petty. Good morning. Today is the 22nd, I believe. And I need to do one thing and one thing only. Wrap my Christmas presents. And I'm basically wrapping everybody's presents too at the same time, which I don't even know. Whatever. <laughs> I should make breakfast, but I'm not going to because I'm low-key being a little petty. I just want to see if I don't make breakfast, would anybody make breakfast for me? I'm being a little petty, just a little bit. So I'm going to have myself my little green juice to keep me going because no one cares about me here. No one does. Green juice it is. So Christmas is like three days away, you guys, and it really doesn't feel like it. It's so weird this year. Oh my God. I'm not in the Christmas spirit at all. And like, I've tried, I did Vlogmas, I've been baking, even buying gifts was weird because I feel like I bought most of my gifts on Amazon versus like actually going to the store. I only went to the store yesterday. I mean, I mean yesterday? Two days ago. I went to the store two days ago. I may go back again today, but like, ugh, it's so weird. It doesn't feel like the holidays. It's kind of just feel like how 2020 always felt. Empty. Anyways, you know what? Maybe I am going to make breakfast because I'm starving. My pettiness is not going to survive. I'm just going to die if I'm trying to be petty this morning. Plus, you know what? Jesus has been working on me. Pettiness is not the way to go. Let's make breakfast. <laughs> I mean, are you surprised? I am legit struggling to wrap this box. And I promise you, it's because I'm low-key like triggered every time I have to wrap something now because I can hear my mom's voice in my head. If you're wrapping something, you have to do it right. And it's like, is there really a right and wrong way of wrapping a gift? As long as it is wrapped, people usually rip right through them anyway. So I'm always stressed out when I have to wrap a present because it has to look good and it has to look presentable and presentable by my mother's standards which is a hard one she overcomplicates everything this is why i am the way that i am okay oh what the hell it looks decent right it looks good so one down a few more to go. I also need a good Christmas playlist. Between you and I, okay? This is just between you and I. Don't tell nobody, sis. I am about to wrap some empty boxes so that the tree looks full, okay? I need my influencer shot, okay? <laughs> this is not gonna cut it. So we got some cornflake boxes, Dove, and I also have an Amazon box somewhere. Where is it? Sylvester, I need to wrap this, sir. Sir, can't, where are you going? <laughs> you can't even fit in here. Wow. That's getting wrapped to whether you want to get out of there or not, boo-boo. And you know what? I actually think that's a great idea because I can just keep these boxes and just put them under the tree every single year. Year after year, we'll have presents. We're actually going to use the pretty paper. Very ironic, but it's going to be under the tree every single year, so. Great thinking there, Jen! <laughs> Oh my god, the 
the tree looks really good you would never know that there is a little bit of help in there and I think it's actually quite brilliant I can keep those and put them back on every single year why not hi out there it's your girl Jen today is December 23rd and I am going to do something that I've been needed to do something that I've wanted to do all year it's a huge task so before I even get started I'm having myself some nice breakfast he did it he went all in he's trying to thicken me up y'all I got eggs I got avocado I got steak he's trying to thicken me up anyway so I'm gonna have my breakfast and then we're gonna tackle this task I'm not ready for it part of me wants to do it because I know I've been putting it off all year but the other part of me doesn't actually want to do the work <laughs> Okay, so you're probably wondering, what is this big task that Jen Jay is talking about? Well, let me show you. You see this? It's supposed to be my dresser, but we got clothes. My closet, filled with clothes that I don't even really wear or enjoy. The ones that I do wear, <laughs> I've been shoving them up here because, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to deal with them. This is Bae's clothes, so we're not gonna worry about that. I just wanna do something with my closet, you guys, and I kinda have like clothes everywhere. I have some clothes here, I have some there. I have some clothes over here. I did try to clear out my closet earlier this year, so there's some things that I've already donated, and I have more clothes over here. So, the plan for today is to tackle this big old task of going through all of my clothes, getting rid of what I don't wear, organizing them in a way that I can see, that I enjoy. That makes me feel like I wanna wear my clothes because right now I just kinda feel like I don't have anything to wear, but I have a big old closet full of clothes. I have clothes in my dresser, I have clothes inside my dresser. So so we gotta do something about that. I feel like this is gonna be a really, really big task that is probably going to take a few days, but I'm hoping to get it all done today because tomorrow's Christmas Eve and no one wants to be folding clothes on Christmas Eve, okay? I also have a bunch of shoes here that I brought up because I was filming a video. So I should probably go through my shoes too. If you guys want like a shoe collection video, Listen, says I have a bunch of pills. I am more than happy to do that. Let me know. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take everything out of the closet, and I mean every single thing, and go through all of them. So I'm going to create three piles. Clothes I'm going to keep pile, clothes that I'm going to donate, and the ones that I'm on the fence about, because I feel like I'm probably gonna be on the fence about quite a bit. It's gonna be hard, but let's do it. So the only way that I think I can survive this task and stay sane is by playing music. So, music please. We took everything out and I have a lot of clothes. Oh my God, you guys. It's all the clothes that one person owns, okay? It's just me, one body. I also have some clothes over here and there's some in here that are dirty, but these are mixed with like base clothes. So I'm kind of like giving myself a pass. You guys see this? This is a crime. This is why I'm overwhelmed. How do I know what to wear when I have so much clothes? So my mom is like borderline hoarder. She's Haitian. It's kind of like in our blood. And one of my biggest fears, I swear, is to become a hoarder. <laughs> so when I told her I was doing this, she was like, oh my God, you can't get rid of clothes. You're gonna need them at some point. And I'm like, this is the problem. You want me to keep some clothes for the one time that I may wear it. Oh, she's coming right now. Yeah. Come, Vinue. Binoué kat tout karité rad on seul monde rad moi gain oui So as you can see I have a mountain of clothes to go through and maybe I should have kind of classified them before just dumping everything on the ground but I actually think it's going to be super easy for example this t-shirt is something that I used to work out in I am going to keep a few workout clothes but I don't need a bunch of random t-shirts so this one could go we're gonna do the donate pile over here. This is kind of cute, but it's also very, a little grandma-ish and kind of like corporate, and no one's going to work right now. And I'm sure I'm gonna go back to work at some point, but I'm not a huge fan of this material. I think this is probably gonna be the maybe. Maybe pile over here. This shorts, I don't wear them anymore. 
This is a head scarf. Head scarves. Are we keeping head scarves? No, we're not keeping her. Leather jacket, we're keeping. This is a summer dress. I don't know, I don't know about this one. I'll keep it. So when it comes to jeans, I have a bunch of jeans. I have a lot. I have all kind of wash. So I think I'm gonna keep one of each. So one dark, one light type thing. That's another dark. See, I have so many. This one, I am going to donate. This one, I'm gonna put it on the maybe pile. I actually paid a bunch of money for this t-shirt. It's a good quality tee. I'm gonna keep it, although it needs to be washed. New roll, if I have to think about it for more than 10 seconds, it's going in the maybe pile or I'm getting rid of it. Random black towel, there's no reason for that. I love this onesie. If you follow my stories, you know I wear it all the time. It has a hole in the bottom, right in the middle. I think I'll get my mom to fix it. We'll keep it for now because I actually wear it. show you how bad my problem is okay I literally have this bag from Zara I'm pretty sure I got this I don't know in September September and I have clothes in here that I've never worn still has the tag on them there they are looking super cute oh my god I remember these pants they fit me so well where have I worn them nowhere why because I'm hanging on to baggage in my life okay oh I feel so good letting go of all these clothes, you guys. <sighs> I'm having a lot of fun. We are done going through all of the clothes. I have for sure a get rid of pile that I'm going to donate. It's actually quite a bit of clothes. It feels so good just tossing these clothes to the side because you know what? I'm creating space for new. <laughs> I don't mean that. Am I gonna get more clothes? Opening myself to the possibility of having a better wardrobe, putting new pieces together, creating new things, letting go of 2020. It feels really good doing this. And I'm like sweating because I've been dancing the entire time. And you know what? It didn't really take me that long. It took like an hour. It's 4.26 right now. And I think we started at like 3.37, about an hour. Um, so this is the pile that I said for sure I'm going to kind of keep, but at least I did the first pass at it. It looks really bad, but it's not that bad, especially considering what we started with. I do have some maybes over here. I love jeans. <laughs> it's hard for me to get rid of jeans. Gonna go through this again and kind of categorize them by what I need the clothes for, and hopefully that's actually going to help me reduce the amount of clothes that I keep. There's so much clothes that I'm getting rid of. This pal is massive. There's so much clothes over here. Now. And they're really good qualities. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. It's just that I'm not wearing them. I'm not using them. Oh my god, there's so much clothes here that somebody else can use. Someone else can enjoy. So, yeah, they gotta go. Ironically enough, look how much hangers I freed up. Like, I was thinking to myself that I needed to buy hangers because I didn't have enough. But look, all of these hangers are now free. <laughs> Not that I'm gonna use them or anything. OMG! So I started putting my clothes in the closet. I'm kind of categorized them a little bit. So I have some like black tops over here. And then these are like sweaters. I'm putting them back based on categories. So far at least. Here I have dresses, so black dresses, and then some of the blazers that I have. I don't know if I'm actually going to keep this because it's half empty anyway. Honestly, it's like beige socks in here. He don't, he don't need that. So far, so good. That's basically half of my clothes. I do have a bunch of tops here that I'm accumulating. At first, I was going to fold them and put them in the drawer, but then I realized, you know what? If I don't see my clothes, I'm not gonna wear it. So I'm not gonna fold them. I'm actually gonna put them in the closet. So it looks like a disaster, but I promise you it's going well.
All right, so we are basically done. This is all of the clothes that I have left. You guys, I have so much space in here now. I can have categories and like space in between each one of them. It's crazy. T-shirts, dressy tops, sweaters, and these are tank tops. I made like a little section in the back here with like my summer clothes, just because, I mean, I'm not wearing these right now. Okay, and over here, I got rid of this thing that was basically empty. We have blazers, we have dresses, and these are basically mainly dresses. So, all of these are dresses. My robes, I like to keep them in hangers because I can easily just come in here, put them on, and then when I'm done, I can put them back. So, these are just robes and then outerwear-ish. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these here because we do have a closet downstairs where I like to put the outerwear stuff. So when I organize that closet, I'm probably gonna move these downstairs. You thought we were done? No, we're not. Let me make it look pretty. Okay, so these are jeans. Those are the only ones that I'm keeping. I'm so proud of myself. I'm only keeping this black jeans, a few dark washes, and two lighter ones. And these are like, um, fancy pants <laughs> so the ones that are kind of like a little bit more dressy and down here we have like the comfy clothes so these are all sweatpants and these are sweaters y'all I'm so like happy I still have just a few clothes to put away and these are gonna go in here and guess what these are empty. As much as I love this dresser, I hate the fact that the lining inside is black because I have a lot of black clothes and you can't really see the clothes when you put them in. These are just workout clothes, so I didn't keep a lot. I kind of kept just a few because when you think about it, I don't work out as often as I would like to, so I don't feel like I need a ton of workout clothes. And then my little onesie that I think I'm just gonna hang it in the closet, but I'm still kind of deciding if I wanna keep it or not. It's hard for me to let go of this because I love it. Boom the pile of clothes that we're giving away. December 25th so Merry Christmas to you and your family I am just basically coming on to wrap up vlogmas it's been quite the journey stressful at times I did miss a few days but it was overall such a great experience I was thinking about what I've learned from doing vlogmas and it's not so much what I've learned I realized it's more of how it affected me it really helped me get out of my head and stop overthinking the videos that I post and just post which is a huge thing when it comes to creating content you double question it you wonder if it's good enough you tear it apart but vlogmas kind of taught me to just be raw and just put my work out whether you know someone likes it or not that's irrelevant anyway so i just wanted to take this time to say thank you to everyone who watched my vlogmas consistently around like 2000 views <laughs> youtube is snitching on y'all so if you didn't watch it this video is not for you, but I just wanted to take the time to say thank you. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you have a great Christmas. You get to spend some time with family, hopefully. I know the current climate is still crazy, but we are making it. We're almost done with 2020. Give yourself a pat on the back for that. Really, Christmas is not so much about gifts. It's not so much about the material things that you're receiving. I feel like this year really thought us that, like material things really don't matter as much as human connection, as much as loving, as much as caring, as much as being there for one another. And I don't think we would have made it through this year if us as people didn't come together. Like think about all the connections that you've made this year, even if it's online, like me connecting with you guys or you guys connecting with me, I feel like some of these bonds got stronger despite the fact that we are apart. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. This is the last one for 2020. See you guys Sunday, most likely, with my usual content. That's it for me. Come here, give me a hug. Mm. And one more thing, if you need to go through your closet right now, sis, because you're carrying junk from 1999, I hope my video inspired you, okay? Hmm.